I'm Bruce Parks. Uh, I'm 72 years old. I've lived in Boise since 2005. In December of 2016, I started having some pains in my chest that I attributed to my gallbladder, which was wrong. Uh, I went to the ER because I was having trouble breathing and talking, and they told me I had AFib. Atrial fibrillation develops be because there are runaway heart muscle cells that trigger this rhythms. I'm an electrophysiologist um, who is a physician, an internist, who treats heart rhythm disturbances. That AFib is a very serious thing that is going on with your heart. It's not going to get better on its own. It's going to eventually destroy your heart if you don't do something about it. Bruce had seen primary care physician relatively early in a history of his atrial fibrillation. He had no symptoms whatsoever. Um, they appropriately decided to treat him conservatively and accept atrial fibrillation. He was started blood thinner to prevent the stroke. His heart rate was not racing. Um, and Bruce did well, to the point. At the second seminar when she asked how many people here have AFib? And about most of us in the, in the room raised our hands. And she said, how many of you have been told by your doctors just to leave it and, and take some blood thinners and we'll, we'll watch it? And we all raised our hand. And she said, that's wrong. We need to address it. And I, from my background, I said, that's right. If there's something going on with your heart, it's not going to get better on its own. And we need to do something. This is a 3D model of the heart, and uh, the top of it are atria. And that's where electricity swarms like tornadoes, not one but many. This is healthy heart muscle. The green speckled part is a scar. So you can easily imagine that electricity gets trapped in between the scar and starts meandering, and that's what atrial fibrillation is and uh, it makes it impossible. It's such a disorganized and rapid rhythm that the top of the heart really cannot contract anymore. So it used to be a pump, becomes effectively a lake. And that lake has a lagoon right here. And in that lake, in the lagoon, the blood stops moving. What happens to the blood that is not moving? It is clotting. Everybody has that lagoon. It's called left atrial appendage. And you see, it's friendly on the model. Look how com complex and large it can be here. Right? You see, it looks like a chicken wing. The hybrid approach to long-standing persistent atrial fibrillation management has two stages. The first stage is performed by a cardiothoracic surgeon, minimally invasively, and on top of the heart. The second stage is performed through the venous access and it is electrophysiological procedure, it's not a surgery, and it's done from the inside of the heart. We actually both do the same thing, just on two sides of the heart muscle, one on top of it, one from the inside. And the goal is to form linear, non-permeable lines that do not allow electricity to proceed and continuously activate the rest of the heart muscle. Atrial fibrillation is nothing to trifle with. It is not like treating appendicitis. You just cut the appendage out. What you do is you treat it like you would treat diabetes. So it's management. It's not fixing it. it there is no cure. Every patient really needs and deserves the information about everything that's available for treatment of this chronic progressive inflammatory dangerous disease so every patient can make a choice regarding therapy that best fits his needs. She chose Boise and we are so lucky to have St. Al's here supporting the Heart Institute and having it available to our, our citizens here. It's just, this is a great place. And they can go back to the gym and start exercising and they feel like they got their life back. That relief is really nice to know that your heart is working the way it's supposed to be working.